your comfort zone will kill you. Wake up my beautiful artists. Welcome back to my channel, Art Awakening. So I've decided to jump out of my comfort zone today. I hate being timed. I absolutely hate being timed to do any of my artwork. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge myself. And as an artist, you need to be sure to always challenge yourself. All right, let's get this party started. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you my speed painting. Of course, I sped this up a bit. I'm also going to talk to you about uh, having confidence in your art. Uh, so uh, as you can see at the beginning of this, you know, I started off with a pencil sketch. Um, you don't necessarily have to do that, but I really like to do that uh, so that I don't need to think about the proportions as much as I'm painting. So I kind of start with, uh, you know, this kind of a light wash. Uh, I, this is all acrylic paint. This is all a blue acrylic paint that I'm using. And towards the end of this painting, I will also use a little bit of blue mixed with some white and also some straight white paint. So really it's just two colors here dark blue and white and water. So uh, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So I've done a bunch of research recently on how to find confidence in your art and many different sites that I went on and uh, different books that I've read told me different things, but uh, it all kind of comes down to one thing. It all kind of goes full circle. The only way to ever gain confidence in your art is just to do it. Do something. Just work on something. Just do whatever your heart speaks to you. So it all goes full circle. So you do the artwork, whatever it may be, just do it. Don't think about it, just do it. And when you do artwork, whatever kind of artwork it is, you gain some sort of skill or some sort of knowledge or you learn a little something along the way. And that helps you gain confidence. And it's that confidence that you built from that just initial doing that helps you gain confidence and motivation to work on another piece. And it goes full circle to where you create the artwork again, you learn a new skill or you get better at it, and then you gain confidence to do another one. And it just keeps going and going. And I just think that it is a beautiful circle, the beautiful circle of art life. One of the biggest things that I've learned as an artist is that thinking about a piece or thinking about a design, thinking about a painting. The more time you spend thinking about it, the less time you spend doing it, which actually made me kind of lose confidence in what I was thinking about over time. You know, I could think about a particular painting or design for a very long time, weeks, months, however long it may be, and I just kind of wait for a spark of inspiration or a good day for me to actually work on it. But what I've realized over time is that I can't do that and just expect to ever be ready. So be ready today, be ready now, work on something and you can gain confidence in your artwork. I promise you it will work. So as I said before, I'm totally jumping out of my comfort zone by doing this. Um, I am a little bit of a perfectionist and I'm trying to kind of get out of that. Um, I read something online the other day it said, striving for perfection is unattainable, frustrating, and neurotic, and it absolutely is. You will never be perfect, the world will never be perfect, and your artwork will never be perfect, so stop striving for perfection and just make art. And always remember that you can never get worse. The more art that you work on, the more you're going to improve. So while working on this speed painting, um, I did have a few things in mind. I wanted to just do my best to try to simplify, to simplify as much as possible. Um, I used big brushes. I painted larger areas and filled more of the canvas in a shorter amount of time that way. Um, I also limited my color palette uh, to help keep it uh, monochromatic so that it would be easier for me to finish it in a shorter amount of time. As I get better at this over time, uh, hopefully I will be able to use more color. So here is my finished painting of Angelina Jolie. So for those of you who are quarantined inside of your studios, as I am, 
Um, I'm going to be doing a five day speed painting challenge for myself and I challenge you to do the same. For details about that, uh, please look at my description below above the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like for me. And also go ahead and click that subscribe button for me if you haven't already. And follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Art Awakening. Until next time, remember to stay peaceful as a calm mind is a creative mind. Now go get inspired, be an influence, and make something beautiful today. Peace.